Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I am filming a wardrobe clear out video. I have been wanting to do this for ages. My wardrobe has been particularly messy. I feel like this video has been a long time coming and therefore I've been like just stuffing things in um, and not worrying about it too much. But I kind of a few things I want to mention before we get started. Number one is my fake tan is awful today. I was actually going to film a jewellery video as well but I feel like you need to be too close to my hands so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to film my jewellery collection maybe for like next week. We have lived in this house for about eight months. At the moment we have one double doored wardrobe which we share and which is in the spare room that's the room I'm in now and then in our room we have one rail and like an Ikea Malm. Um, I haven't bought a wardrobe yet. Uh, when we first moved in, like Mike really wanted to buy a wardrobe first thing because honestly, for a while our clothes really were all over the place. But I really, I don't know, I think I do want an Ikea Pax wardrobe. Um, so do let me know if you have like any tips regarding them. But um, I don't know because I don't know if I want to change our flooring and if we change our flooring it'll just be so much easier to do after we have a wardrobe. I don't really like the doors on the Pax wardrobe so then it's like do we paint them, do we not paint them, do we just stick with them, do we get custom doors? what do we do so I, i'm basically just a bit unsure but uh that is the situation I'll, I, I will give you a quick tour of what everything looks like but mike and i are largely sharing um our spaces um in the malm drawers in the in the bedroom we have um two drawers each but the malm is like a, a hand-me-down uh, most of our furniture in this house is a hand-me-down and actually this wardrobe is the only thing we've bought but this room is tiny it's kind of hard to show you this is the only wardrobe we have it looks like this it is from Habitat. I really, really liked it. Um, it was like relatively expensive for like a two door wardrobe. I think it was like 500 pounds, um, but it's solid wood. Excuse the mess. Um, it's solid wood. It has a mirror on the inside. And then this is what we've got going on. Largely, this is um, Mike's clothes from here down. This room is actually pretty much where Michael gets ready. And like someone asked me recently, like, oh, what do you do with your spare rooms? And I said, oh, well, the middle one, which is this one, the smallest one, is Michael's dressing room. He tries to deny, deny it, but this is definitely Mike's dressing room. It's also because he goes to work earlier than I do. So in order to not wake me up, he gets dressed in here. I have no idea if it's gonna be messy or not, but Mike in here keeps his jumpers, or he's supposed to. I don't know where they are because I know they're not in the wash but there's a couple actually that I'm going to put away in storage but that's kind of Michael's stuff so we're not going to concentrate on that at all today. Oh these are Michael's trousers actually and then back there is just lots of my knitwear which as you can see is an absolute mess and something I really need to organise. This mirror is not cleaned either and um, last maybe like yesterday or the day before I cleaned all my mirrors but I forgot to clean this one and then in our bedroom we have this which Mike has got a couple of things in here but really not very much i think actually he might only have like three items in here is this his four maybe i'm gonna go through organize this and i really want to have a clear out also worth noting that this isn't strictly my whole wardrobe um i have a lot of clothes still at my mum's house and that's something that i really do need to go through as well i really want to have like a decluttering year but it's definitely gonna be a slow process and i think for me that just works much much better than doing it all in one go like i'm just kind of allowing myself to do it um like small chunks at a time and even with my makeup that's working really well but that's actually what i'm gonna be doing with my entire life really for this year not not just clothes not just makeup not just house but just really everything i own i also have some other bits of sto in like storage in the house but in like um vacuum pack bags so that's something i'll go through um maybe i'm hoping to go on holiday next month so if i do go on holiday next month i'll probably open up the storage bags then but that's not in my main wardrobe and also I have like christmas items as well which is why i said i have to put mike's items into a storage bag and then in the past i've just like really really over consumed when it comes to fashion more than anything especially fast fashion and i really want to kind of just see what's in my wardrobe and get rid of the stuff that i don't love and that i just bought for the sake of buying i don't want to put myself on like a no year buy or anything like that because i find it too restrictive and it would just want me to want to make me buy more but at the moment i'm feeling really really uninspired by my wardrobe and that's why i'm doing this and like in the past i would have just bought new things but i think it's more important that i go through my wardrobe and i see what i love what's in there like what have i forgotten about what can i bring back out and hopefully i can then see if there's any holes in my wardrobe and i'm going to try and fill them with secondhand items but more about secondhand stuff in the in another video and then with the clothes i am gonna get rid of most of my stuff i would say goes to my family so my mum or her sisters 
pretty much take the majority of my stuff that's in good condition and i prefer to give it to them because then once they've used it they can give it to charity if it's still in good condition but i try not to donate everything to charity because um, a lot of the stuff they, they only sell 20 percent of the things that they receive so if i can find it at home for, like straight away i think that's just better i have like no real plan which is not a good a good way to do this yeah let's just see how it goes i i definitely want to take everything out of the wardrobe i think i don't even know what room i'm going to do this in because we have it in two different rooms i might go get a rail as well so firstly i think i'm going to pick everything off my off my rail that i love and i'll quickly talk you through that and actually i think if it belongs to mike i'm just gonna put it on the bed for now first and foremost um this is actually in my most recent haul i'm sorry i'm not gonna try these items on unless i need to because it'll just take me days this is from nobody's child it was in my last haul i love this i'm definitely keeping it i haven't had a chance to wear it yet and then this is my nobody's child other look, other new dress love this definitely keeping it this is a marge coat i guess i should at least show you it honestly i haven't been wearing this that much um, I don't know why. I think I just really over wore it and um, yeah, I just haven't worn it as much this year. But I do still really like it. I think it's like rel relatively timeless and to be honest it was really, really expensive. Um, so I'm keeping this. I'm going to link whatever I can down below. I'm going to check the pockets whilst I'm here, there's nothing in them. So yeah, keeping that. Um, I'm going to try and really just keep things that I know I love. There are going to be some things that I need to try on because I'm unsure but um, okay, actually we have quite a lot going on here. So. Let me move these. Oh god, there's a lot on here. There's four dresses on this one hanger. This dress, I love it. It's from Oasis. It's really, it's not really old. It's quite old. It might be like three or four years old. And um, it's got a slip down it. I just love it. Definitely keeping this. And that's probably a dress I'll take on holiday with me. This dress I have had for ages. It doesn't fit me. I, I've never worn it. I'm just gonna get rid of it. It was quite a cheap dress to begin with. Probably one of those dresses I shouldn't have bought and was definitely like a fast fashion dress. It's nice, but it's not for me. So that's my first item going. Then I have this navy dress, which I do quite like. Um, I'm gonna keep, this is actually a size eight and this still fits me. And that's how much like sizing is just rubbish because I'm definitely not a size eight. At some point I probably will try and replace these hangers a bit better, but for now I'll do, I'll make do with what I have. This is actually a 90, which I kind of bought to wear as a dress, but it's a size 14 and so it's a bit big for me. Um, so I think this is gonna go in the maybe, because I'm not sure, but maybe I could just start sleeping in it since that's what it actually is. Um, this I bought from a charity shop. This is Faithful the brand. I actually haven't worn this. I've worn this in pictures quite a bit. Um, but I've never worn it out, but I really like it and I think it might come in use at some point and it's, it brings me joy. Like I, I, I really don't want to get rid of it basically. This blouse from Hush, which was a hand-me-down. Um, there's like a fair few hand-me-downs in here, but I think I need to try it on and I need to see if I should keep it or not. Maybe that's something I'll, I'll do on um, Instagram because you guys can't realistically tell me if I should keep it or not. So that will go in my maybe pile. Then this is a J Crew hand-me-down as well. Um, I thought this would be quite good as like a Christmas top, but I didn't wear it over Christmas. But again, maybe as a layering top, but it does ha doesn't have long sleeves, which puts me off. So it's gonna be one that I'm gonna try on. Another one of Mike's jackets. This is from Whistles. I'm gonna try this on, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep this. But again, it's another hand-me-down. The thing is like, it's really hard because I, have a few kind of similar things to this and I don't think I need both of them but then it feels quite wasteful to get rid of them so I think it's an item I'm going to keep I probably shouldn't have bought actually you know what I, I don't know about this one I like it I'm keeping it um, and then I have skirts I have quite a few skirts I have this really beautiful one from Hush to get it's a hand-me-down I've always worn at Christmas I have this one which is from Dorothy Perkins which I absolutely love and then under that nope just two on this one but both of these are actually going to storage so I'm gonna make a separate pile of dresses that are going into storage because they are very like Christmassy. Again, this one is very Christmassy, so it will go into storage. But this one is from M and Co. I really like this. I actually have a, a top that matches it. This jumper, I think I'm just gonna get rid of it because it's getting a bit bobbly. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna try it on, but I also just think it's too small. I really want my jumpers to be. Um, actually, it says it's a size large, but I just think it's not a good fit. I'm gonna try it on. My favourite blazer, I'll try this one for you now. I really like this and I won't be getting rid of it. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in the pocket. It is from H&M. This blouse I need to try on. This is from Whistles. Again, it was a hand-me-down. I also need to get rid of this hanger because these hangers are rubbish. This blouse is from Superdry. 
I'm gonna try this on, but I'm pretty sure I'm keeping that. This blazer, I'm gonna keep it, but I think it's a little bit on the small side. Maybe it's not. No, actually, I think it's it's just about right. Um, I really like this, another mask. Yeah, I quite like this. I probably wouldn't wear it with these trousers because these trousers are quite baggy, but I'm gonna keep that. Oh, this is actually an ellipsy dress, an ellipsy shirt. I've only worn this once, but when I wore it, I really liked it. So, I don't know, I think I, it's one I need to think about and I'm gonna try it on and then make my mind up then. This I love, but um, I just I just don't know how I'm gonna wear it. It's from Naked, is that how you pronounce the brand? Oh, I think it might be a size 10, but it is oversized anyway. So again, it's one I'm gonna try on, but actually that's one of the more like recent um, fast fashion brand pieces that, I've, uh, that I have that I haven't loved and therefore should, shouldn't have bought. For example, this is still quite a fast fashion brand. This is Love and Roses, but I really like this. So I'm gonna keep this. This I think is a great dress, but very Christmassy. So again, it needs to go into storage. I actually think I'm gonna try and get some storage under my bed. Um, but at the moment, I kind of need a new bed because again, like I said, all our furniture is second hand and our bed is a bit lower than I'd like, but it used to have wheels, but we removed the wheels. Um, so maybe I'm just gonna get like something to make them slightly higher. I don't know. I'm gonna keep this. I don't know if I'll keep this forever. I have worn this. I have a tag on it, but honestly, I have worn this. But I'm going to see, basically. Um, these kind of do feel a bit Christmassy, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep them in my current wardrobe or not, but I love, I love them both. This one is Girls on Film, and this one is ASOS. I really like their Plisé dresses, so I'm gonna keep that. This is what we've got so far. Actually, not that much, really. Okay, this room's a bit of a, an awkward one to film in because it is so small. I'm gonna close the door. But I also need to open this door. Bit of a weird one, really. And I'll put on here the items that I'm definitely keeping. This dress from Love and Roses, really like it. I spoke about it in a recent haul. It was my last video. There's a lot of hangers in here, which I feel like I've just taken up a lot of space, but I wonder if they're from Mike's clothes, which have disappeared somehow. These, I mean, they've been in here for a while and I haven't worn them, so that does make me think that I think maybe I've just forgotten about them. Their new look lift and shape, size 12, so they'll fit me. Um, so I need to try these on and kind of see how that goes. Can I just say that I was convinced that I no longer had the trousers to this to this cohort, and that's why I haven't worn them, but I'm actually very excited about this. I'm gonna keep them. I feel like actually I shouldn't have ever kept this blouse because I'd only wear this blouse as a cohort, um, but, I'm really glad I have those trousers, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, this blouse, I think I need to try on because it might be a bit small. It is a 12, but where it's like got a really high neck and I have quite a big bust, this might not work for me. Okay, this skirt here, I love. Um, I've had it for quite a long time. I don't know how many years, maybe like, maybe actually only like four, which actually in the, li the lifespan of a lot of my wardrobe items isn't that long, but I really like that. And then I have these trousers, which um, I haven't worn. I'm going to try them on, but actually I think they would look better on my mum. But whether she wants them or not, we'll have to see. I would love to hear your opinion on leather jackets. I just do not like them anymore. Um, this one is also maybe slightly small. They're just not my style. But then equally I'm worried that one day I'll need it and... I won't have it, but that's really not the mentality I want to have. So I'm really, really conflicted about this. So do let me know. I think if I find someone that wants it from like my family members, um, maybe I'll just give it to them because then like once they're done with it, they can give it back and I feel like it won't be to waste. I mean, I think a good way to think about it is like, would I wear that tomorrow? And honestly, no, I, I don't think I would. This blouse is really pretty. It's from Love and Roses. They sent me quite a lot, as you can tell. This is from H&M. Not my favourite, but I don't really have that many blazers, so I, I do think I get quite a lot of wear out of it. Now this blouse, and the skirt looks dirty annoyingly. Um, I'm going to keep. I really think they're lovely, but the skirt is, is quite short, um, so not really something I wear very much. But I think I'm going to keep it for like one more summer. And then if I don't wear it, I'm going to get rid of the skirt. But I will probably just keep this shirt because it is um, it is just like a nice linen shirt, really. The skirt I'm going to leave on the floor because I need to go in the wash. These jeans are from Gap. I bought them. I'm going to try them on because I think I've got like a fair amount of white jeans. This 
jacket this blazer i'm gonna keep again i don't have that many blazers this jacket i'm actually really unsure about and i think it might be one that i take to my mum and store there because the issue is i really find it wasteful to be getting rid of like lots of jackets especially ones that i like just because i have other ones because then at some point i'm gonna have to buy a new one whereas if i just put it at my mum's once i'm kind of done with my other jackets she has a bit more storage space than I do. I can just collect it and that makes a bit more sense to me. But actually I might just get rid of it. I'm, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this. I think I know someone that would like this. And um, these sort of buttons aren't really appealing to me. So I think that's my first item that I'm definitely getting rid of in here. I, again, I wouldn't wear that because I don't like those buttons. This I quite like. It's from m &S. Like cold spring day dress this is from primark probably one of my more recent primark purchases i probably wouldn't get this now i try not to go into primark because it can be quite tempting but um i'm gonna keep it hold on i'll try and show you properly i'm gonna keep it i get a fair amount of wear out of this um and that's the thing like, i can't afford to just buy um sustainable brands so when i am buying i mean i try to buy second hand as much as possible but if i do buy something like a primark dress which rarely happens nowadays I just try to make sure that it, that is something that I truly love and that I'll truly get a lot of wear out of. And I think this is that. And even if I don't wear it, I think my mum would also get quite a lot of wear out of this, which makes me feel slightly less guilty. Then we've got this uh, jumpsuit from Pieces. I really like this. I'm running out of space on the door, so we might have to start hanging it on the wardrobe. Jeans. I, at the moment, definitely have too many jeans. Um, which is something I never thought I would say. I don't think I'm going to get rid of very many jeans at all. I'm going to try these back on, I think. But um, I think I might as well like get through them and just and make sure I just don't buy any other ones. I'm not going to say I definitely won't buy any other shape. I'm going to try not to. Love this dress. It's from Oasis. No, it's not. It's from ASOS. Um, I've had it for maybe only like two years, but I really, really love it. This is a beautiful... I don't know. It can be whatever you want. You can wear it at home as a dressing gown. You can wear it out um, with... Like jeans or something it's just beautiful and it's from 100 stars um i just i just think that's stunning i'm definitely gonna keep that um this dress is from ted baker i love this it's a tiny bit big on me i wish i had got the size down this is a three and i should have got a two um, i don't even know what that means um but um i've actually got like a christening for example in the summer and i think i'm gonna wear this i'm like 90 percent sure i'm gonna wear that um, another love and roses love this i know i'm saying like it's best not to shop fast fashion but if you do if you are after a brand that cuts really really well but it is fast fashion so you know if you are buying from them buy very consciously and make sure that it's something that you'll love in your wardrobe but love and roses do beautiful beautiful shaped dresses and as does nobody child so does lily and lionel but they are a significantly more expensive brand this is partly silk and partly cotton i believe but yeah i love this dress and actually i have so many dresses it's absurd um, this is a another boiler suit really like this i'm gonna keep it this coat here i really like but i've never worn it because it was sent to me in the size too big and it's kind of annoying when brands do that like i understand why they do that but it's annoying nonetheless but i am gonna keep it because i feel like over the next couple of years like if my body does change size it's one that i would definitely wear but maybe it's one that I'll send to my mum's house. Because it, it might just make more sense there. But I think it's a great coat and I really, really like it. And that's why I don't want to get rid of it. Then I have this long black um, new look coat. And I actually think I'm going to get rid of it. Not because I don't love it. I, I actually really do like it. And the grey version of this coat was like my favourite coat ever. And I just agreed to get rid of that one. Um, but I think it's too small. It's a size 10. And I'm definitely a 12. Like it fits. But it's not the fit I would like. It's definitely one that's not going to stay in this wardrobe. It might go to my mum's. And then I'll see how I feel about it once it's kind of stayed there for a year. Or so. If it still doesn't fit in a year. Then what's the point in me keeping it? Then I have this dress. Which is kind of maybe but it's a newer item it's definitely a what's it called what's that thing when you like buy something um and you haven't thought about it enough impulse purchase i kept wanting to say instant it was definitely an impulse purchase but i do like it so i'm going to keep it and it is a 12 so fingers crossed it does fit this is time for me to find a new home for i love this dress and i never wore it i think it was sent to me many years ago buy new look it is beautiful but it's really low cut and it's really short and now it's really small so that's another piece that's definitely going to go this is from stein goya is that how you pronounce that brand um it's again another hand-me-down but it's like a super it's quite an expensive brand and i think it's beautiful and quite timeless so definitely one i'm going to hold on to okay and then from hanging items i've only got these 
um, this green this yellow coat which i really like from love and roses and then i also have the red ver the pink version um underneath i have a, a play suit which is really nice but it's quite christmasy and i just need to try it on to see like how how it fits um so that's the task and then also i have this blouse which again is quite christmasy and it goes with the skirt which i need to try it on and then same thing with this velvet jumpsuit which is nice but i need to try on so i'm gonna put everything back in and then we're gonna get we're gonna start with the items down at the bottom but i'm also gonna make myself a cup of tea because i am dying for one as soon as i finish my lunch i just i really need a cup of tea and i feel like i've done a fair amount of talking so i definitely need one i've been looking for this towel turns out it's in my wardrobe Annoyingly, for some of these items, this, this um, wardrobe isn't quite long enough, but I think I'm gonna put my longest items right in the corner. Okay, so I've had a cup of tea, and also the light is just coming from here, but again, I don't know what to do about that. I took out all the bits that were in the bottom of the wardrobe, and I'm gonna go through those. This, I think it's quite nice. Again, like, it was not that old, and it's from New Look, but I think it's gonna go into storage because the buttons make it quite Christmassy. This I bought recently, maybe I shouldn't have bought it, it's cashmere. I bought it second hand, it's from John Lewis. I think it was like relatively expensive though. And I think actually like it's shrunk. I don't think I shrunk it, but I think it was already shrunk because it says it's a size 16 and it's definitely not, but I am gonna keep it. Uh, actually just new moth items, like anti-moth things arrived. So I'm gonna use those. This is from And Other Stories. It's actually not my favorite jumper, but it's in decent condition. Actually, I think it needs a wash, <laughs> but I'm gonna hold on to it because like I said, like I, I, I feel bad, especially like if something is like okay, I feel like I should at least like wear it till the end. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. This is a cashmere like hoodie, which honestly is just a bit ridiculous, but I do like it. It was sent to me, um, and I will be keeping it. This is a cardigan I used to love. I haven't worn this in ages, but um, this is from Amazon actually. But I really liked that, so I'm gonna keep it. This one, which is from Matalan, I'm actually gonna try on. And then I will decide. This is another cashmere jumper. I really like cashmere jumpers. It's just a grey thin one. I actually don't think I've worn this at all this year. But um, it's a weird year. So I don't know if it's like that representative of whether I'd wear it next year or not. This is a hoodie. Oh, it's not a hoodie. It's a jumper. I really like this actually. I came with uh, bottoms but the bottoms were really short so those no longer belong to me not sure who i gave them to but i definitely gave them to someone this jumper is getting really old and tatty but it's just one of my all-time favorite jumpers so i think i might keep it just to wear at home and i try not to do that but i think that one i'm gonna make an exception this i think i might see if my mum wants it because i don't think i like it that much actually you know what for now because it's quite christmasy i'm going to put it in the christmas pile and then next year around christmas like i'll probably around november i'll open that up and then if i don't want it then i'll give it to my mum or to someone that wants it that's not me these are two gant stripy tops i'm not sure about these i think maybe they're a bit small but I'm gonna keep them for now. They definitely fit me, but I think maybe I'd like prefer a bigger uh, bigger fit. Oh, I never know what to do with like t-shirts that are just getting a bit old and tatty. Yeah, this one's gonna go because it has holes in it. This one, this one says brunch club on it. These were like really popular a few years back, but I think I'm gonna get rid of that. This one here says caffeine and kindness. I mean, it is a bit cheesy, but I'm gonna keep it nonetheless, especially because these sort of t-shirts are quite good to wear under stuff and it's in good condition like it's almost new i think that was a um like a brand is probably releasing a product that had caffeine in it and that's how that ended up in my house this is quite cute but it looks quite small so maybe you want to try it on these i do actually quite like they're like low cut long sleeve tops i should have a black one somewhere as well but i like those those are from asos they're a good shape on me what's this this is a plain white t-shirt which um i would definitely keep because i have i, I love all plain white t-shirt now then i have this which is a body i'm gonna get rid of this because it's a size 10 so it's a bit small that can go then i have this rib t-shirt which is also size 10 but this still fits quite nicely and it's quite um like a nice spring summer t-shirt i really like the color 
I like that it's ribbed and that is quite an old one from Primark but I still get quite a lot of wear out of it. This one I need to try on because it is a size medium but I like my jumpers quite big so it might be one that ends up going. I have two pairs of leather trousers which I think need to be hung because they're not really working for me here because I forget I even own them. And then also these pair of trousers, I had these trousers maybe like, I honestly want to say 10 years but for ages they were too big for me but now they fit me, they're a size 12, they're from ASOS um, and therefore I'm going to try and start wearing these but maybe they'll be hung up too. Then I have this cashmere grey jumper, very similar to the other one, it's just that this one's a v-neck. It doesn't fill me with joy but it's just like a plain staple which is useful. This I'm going to get rid of, this is a grey jumper. Actually, I might wear it, um, might see if maybe I can wear it and then I'll get rid of it because it has like a silly back to it which I don't really like and also the, the sleeves are very balloony and therefore not that comfortable especially under coats. I'm going to try it on and then, we'll, and then I'll decide and then I have this cardigan which is a black cardigan and really like it. Um, this jumper, I mean I actually don't really love it but it's I don't dislike it but it's still like very white and stuff so I'm going to keep that. This jumper is from um, New Look. I've had this jumper for really, really long. I really like this colour. Um, it's cashmere. It's not from New Look, it's from Topshop. At the time I got it in the sale, I think I paid like £7.50 for it, but I still wear it a fair amount. I think I wore it twice last month. Um, this jumper is from Oliver Bonnest, but I bought it second hand. I'm really unsure about this one, actually. I don't know if I really like this material, but it's so incredibly soft. I can't imagine it being any anything good, though, to be honest. Size 10, and it's... Pol polamide um, but it feels very nice i'm gonna keep it for now and then my last item is a hand-me-down and actually um i was told that i could sell it if i wanted to but the issue is that it's just in bad condition so if it weren't good condition i'd probably try and sell it it's from toast and these are actually quite like sought after cardigans but it's in bad condition but that said it's also a bit big for me but i actually do think i'm just gonna keep it because i do quite like it um, it's a size large. I could do it with a medium in this. So a bit annoying, but I'm going to hold on to it. Can I just say that? From that giant pile of rubbish in the bottom, it's actually just this. So that just shows that like everything was so badly organised. So hopefully I can have my wardrobe looking somewhat normal because it was crazy in there. Even though it seemed like there was a lot of things I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I think I would happily wear everything that's in there tomorrow if I had to. So that's quite a good sign as far as I'm concerned. Okay, I've also got this top, which um, is another charity shop buy. Um, it's actually a men's one. It's from J. Crew. I really like it. I tuck it into everything. It's just got like a, a nice little collar. I quite like buying men's jump jumpers because then then I feel like if Mike would like to borrow one, he can. It literally never, there's actually like one jumper, which maybe he's wearing today, um, which I actually bought for myself. It's a men's jumper and he en he ended up keeping it. But generally all my jumpers that are men's, um, like, he never wears them. But that said, I have got a pile of clothes um, on my, in a chair in my room. Um, but that's, they're like all folded and stuff. It's just that they need to come into here. Um, but they're, things that I've kind of worn recently, so I know that I want them. I can't even lie, I'm really struggling to keep my motivation up right now. I don't know why, um, but this coat is gonna go. Um, this is the new look one that's 10, that's a size 10. I don't know if I said I was, it was gonna go off, I said I wasn't sure, but yeah, I'm happy for it to go. It's too small for me. Um, I haven't really worn like a long black coat in what seems like quite a long time. So I'm going into this bag, which is going to my mom's house, and then once it gets there, side same with this leather jacket like it might go in storage at my mum's or i might just get rid of it i need to like fix my um attic so i'd love to store stuff up there and actually i had pest control around like last week i'm hoping people can't see that i'm filming uh, from the outside but they probably can um but anyway i was certain that we had rats in the attic or like something but then pest control went up there and i'm like no we're 100 percent sure like there isn't anything in your attic so um uh don't know what that's about. Maybe I could just hear like my neighbours. That's a possibility. At least there's, there is no rats. It does mean that we can kind of get that all boarded up and a bit nicer up there. Getting rid of this coat. I think to be honest, my mum might keep some of this stuff. And I'm just very excited that it's going to no longer be in my house. And I need to try everything else. I don't know. Really can't be bothered. I think the trying on might be for another day. I just don't think I've got it in me. This I'm definitely going to keep. I'll try it on here because it's a bit 
a little bit more, you can see a bit better here. Um, I really like this, but it's going to go to my mum's. It is like very big, but I'm going to store it there for now. I mean, in winter when you want to put loads of coats under it, I don't think it's like ridiculous, but um, it is also March, so I'm very aware that like we're going into spring and not the other way around. I've got a lot to try on. Okay, so a lot of time has passed. Um, I even made dinner um, and I found some pyjamas that are a little bit too small for me, a pair of trousers which I've had for a while and just don't suit me. And I basically put it all in this laundry bag, which is what I'm taking to my mum's house. And then I'll decide there what I'm gonna do with everything. This is the pile of stuff I used to try on. It's quite a lot actually. It's this whole rail plus that big part that's on there. That's a task for another day. And actually I still have a whole pile of clothes on a on my chair to sort through. They're all like well organized, but that still needs to be done. Whether it's gonna to be today or not, um, it might be today, but it's unlikely. So I'll probably see you tomorrow.